All right, welcome to my March Fortnite crew pack review and gameplay video. So as you can see, the Lombro is the skin. Pretty much everyone already knew that in advance, but it says fearless, flashy, fashionable, and always ready to party up. So I'm gonna play the trailer for Lombro. This is, I think, the first time we've ever had a real trailer, but I think it has copyrighted music. So I'm gonna mute the music and we're gonna just talk through it. It's real quick. So here we go. First of all, it shows a weird shot of him running right through Lazy Lake. And then it says Fortnite crew. And then it shows an up close with the pickaxe, the awesome rap right there, the weird eye, the horn, pickaxe again, and back to the rap. And then it says, also get 1,000 V-Bucks. Do you like my voice? Plus the battle pass, Fortnite crew, Lombro. It doesn't actually say Lombro, but there you go. That, I think, like I said, is the first trailer for a crew pack. Now remember, you don't get your V-Bucks right away. So if you did sign up for the crew, you get them on whatever date your billing date is. For example, mine, as you can see, says next 1,000 V-Bucks, March 2nd. So what's that, two days away? Then I get my 1,000 V-Bucks. You get the skin separately, and then the V-Bucks after that, or whenever your billing date is. All right, so here we go in the locker. It says he's one ice cold llama corn. And this is him with his full attire on. So if you saw my pre-release video, I mentioned that I love the color scheme, but I just wasn't a fan of the llama head. But I have a feeling that when you aim down sights in game or ADS, that that head is gonna be obtrusive, but we'll see. So if you remove the llama head and put a real person's head on there, I think this would be a great skin. I love the shoes, the puffy vest. It reminds me of Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly in Back to the Future. Love that. But the color scheme is fantastic. He's got gloves on as well. It's just that head. I don't know. Back bling is called Up North and Follow the Frost is what it says. So he's got a little ice pick there and water canteen and a flashlight and a rope. He's going to climb a mountain, apparently. Pickaxe is the puff corn pick inflated for maximum cornage. Let's see if it has a splash effect. It does. It's got a white frosty splash there. So I don't know if the theme for this is supposed to be winter or ice or frost or something like that but they all seem to be frost related. Now the rap is called The Legend. This is what I'm most interested in seeing. You can see it has an eyeball on the end, but a majority of the gun, or let's say 50% of the gun is white. And that holds true for all of them. Well, some of them are more than 50%, like the tack shotgun there, that's like 75% just plain white. So I don't know why they did that. I'm not sure how it's reactive yet. We're gonna have to test in game, but for some reason they couldn't highlight the entire gun with that color scheme. Now for a glider, unfortunately, you will have to create your own for this combo. These are the llama gliders I have. The Dragacorn, which of course goes with Deadpool. The Bright Blimp, which I think would be best. And you've got the Llama Corn Express, which I think would be a great runner up for this one. That's not too bad. Then the Rainbow Rider, I guess that would flow. It's got the color scheme. And lastly, the Payload. So these are the ones that I think could suit this particular skin. But like I said, I'm going with Bright Blimp just because it matches his face more, I guess. And then of course for a dance, you don't have to do this, but I thought it would be cool to add Pony Up. This is from season 10, by the way. Maybe I could get a thumbnail image with this. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna check this out in game and see exactly what this has to offer. All right, so here we go. Let's see what the Bright Blimp looks like on Lombro. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Color scheme matches. Nice giant rainbow there. You know what I don't like about this glider? That noise. Listen. It's almost like someone's scrunching a balloon. I don't know. All right, so someone told me that with these slurp trucks, if you hit the tire on the front, it'll blow up. Oh, son of a gun. It did work. That's crazy. Thanks for the heads up seven up there. That saves a lot of time. The only drawback there is you don't get the metal for breaking the tank itself. All right, let me grab some weapons so we can review everything. Look at that, a gold hand cannon right off the bat. By the way, speaking of gold hand cannons, earlier today, I did a video, which I'm gonna link in the outro, showing the percentages of receiving every single weapon from a chest. For example, I think there was a 4.4% chance that I pull a gold pistol. 4.4, if I remember correctly. All right, so first, let's check out the pickaxe. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. There you go. So here's the pull-out noise right here. It's got an interesting noise. Nothing really special. Let's see if there's a contrail now. 
Okay, so just a very, very slight rainbow-like contrail. I bet we'll see this better in the nighttime. Let's see if the sun's going down yet. It's almost there, so we'll check that out. Splash effect, I know there is for sure, but let's look. So nice splash, look at that, it's like a giant puff of frost. That's definitely noticeable right there. I like that, not too shabby. So let's spin him around. A little bit of old school there. Like I said, the color scheme is fantastic. It's just getting past that big goofy head. That's the issue. How about when you aim down sights? Yeah, see, it's very bulky. Very, very bulky. I figured the hair kind of dangles too. Look at that, when you move from left to right, it kind of swivels, that's kind of cool. I don't know, I feel like the head takes up a lot of space and that horn could get a little obstructive as well. I mean, it's not too bad. And it is kind of neat that you see the brilliant colors there. Let's do a little bit of pony up here. Nice rainbow effect there, pretty sweet. Okay, so how about the wrap? You know what, I'll be honest. I thought this white would be really dumb, but in fact, that's nice. I wish there was an all white wrap like that because I have so many combos that would benefit from that. And this is not bad. I mean, that goes really well with this skin. But let's see what happens when you shoot it. First of all, you can see that the animation changes colors over time. Let's see what happens when we shoot. Here we go. I think it just makes the colors change faster. Yeah, I believe that's what it does. So you can watch the animation slowly change colors or you can fire to change the colors at will. I'm not gonna lie though, that's not a very good reactivity. It literally already does that by being animated. So you're just speeding up the process. So the wrap itself is just okay. I am a bit impressed, like I said, with that white, but the reactivity is almost non-existent. Now we will check that out in replay mode just to ensure that's what it is, but it's just not that impressive. So that's about it. I mean, it's not bad, but it just seems lacking for a crew pack skin. This is on par with the Green Arrow skin to me. The Green Arrow was my least favorite one. At least with V, we had two different styles. The pickaxe was incredible. Now, yes, this skin is super unique. It's not a crossover. It's not a collaboration with anybody. But I just think a lot of people are going to be turned off by the llama head. Like I said, if this was a normal looking skin with a human head, I think this would be killer. I think it's very, very nicely done color scheme wise. So now we're just going to wait for the dark. It's almost nighttime. We'll see how it changes, if anything, or if anything glows. All right, so let me spin them around. No, nothing glows on the skin. So I guess if you want to stay a little discreet, other than the crazy color schemes, but at least you're not standing out that much. Let's see the wrap. Okay, you can really notice the color scheme changing. So the faster you shoot, I'm wasting all my ammo here. Not that I'm trying to win or anything. Let's see if the contrail's more noticeable. No, still very brief there. So I guess for those of you that dislike really animated or glowing skins, then you'll really like this one because nothing really glows or is animated other than the wrap. I still enjoy this wrap. That white, I love it. I want an all white wrap. I didn't say much about the back bling because there's really not much to say other than the nice matching color scheme it's just there. In fact, I'd probably run a different back bling just because. So that's about all there is to it. Not much else to say about this skin. I'm very curious how the community will react to this. Is this something people like? Is it something people will hate? Would you buy the crew pack just for this skin? All right, so real quick before we end this review, let's take a look at the wrap in replay mode up close and personal. So you can see that when I shoot it, it merely changes the color right away. But again, I have no idea why the entire gun is not coated with that color scheme. I think we have another wrap that looks exactly like that, that does the same thing. So maybe that's the reason, but it's pretty disappointing. However, at the same time, like I said, the all white wrap actually looks really clean with this skin. But from a reactive standpoint, it's not the greatest. A little bit of the gun will change colors at will, whereas if you don't shoot, it changes colors on its own. 
So, I don't know. Some people may like this, others may not. So is this crew pack worth getting? I don't know. I think, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that you do get the Season 6 Battle Pass included for free if you have this month's crew pack. So in that regard, yes, I would totally get this just to get the Battle Pass, the skin, the pickaxe, the wrap, and the back bling, all for almost the same price as you would pay for the normal Battle Pass, if that makes sense. But the skin on its own, I would say this is the weakest one we've had so far. But in my opinion, I think it does edge out Green Arrow just a bit. So I would rate Green Arrow as the worst crew pack we've ever had, and then this one next. But I guess it just depends on if you like a llama skin or not. Would I ever run this skin? Maybe. I would definitely run the wrap, that's for sure. It's a nice looking wrap, even if only half the gun is covered on some of them. The pickaxe I can use on several different characters, including a lot of the llama skins or the bright bomber skins or things like that, but the back bling I wasn't really a fan of. So that's about it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.